So I'm here at DMG Mori, I'm at the front end open house. Uh, I'm with Andy and we're gonna be talking about one, just one of the innovations that's here at the show, which is the new PHL 500. Um, Andy, just tell us initially about the PHL and why DMG Mori introduced it and what it is. Yes, the PHL we introduced in 2020 because we saw a demand of pallet handling, simple pallet handling for automation solution and we already sold over 250 pH cell. We have at the moment between 30 and 40 percent automation on the machine because it's really important that the customer runs the automation 24 hours a day. So at the moment they have about 1,500 spindle hours a year out of 8,700. So we want to get the customer that they can produce more parts on the machines, yeah. What, what is, is this pH cell and what are the differences to what, what you started out with? Yeah. yeah, as I said, we started with a 300. So this automation solution has a clamping system on the table. And this development now is with the integrated clamping system. So you have more working space, we have more rigidity, and we also have more kilogram on the pallet. Here, as the name is 500, we have 500 kilogram on the system. Okay, okay so, so whereas before then you'd have had like a maybe a zero point system or something that was on top of the table, you don't have that now. No. So the I suppose the advantage is to that, other than just the rigidity, maybe your z-axis gets improved. Yeah, well. yeah, right. As we don't have the clamping system on the table, it's integrated. The surface of the table is lower, so you have more space in the working room. And we have here the technology out of our DMC machine, so that as a pallet changer. A system. Let's write the same table of the DMC monoblock. Okay, okay. Now, now I see here you've also got two control panels here. Yeah. The first thing that comes into my mind is I would want that all in here, but I've got the option, haven't I? Yeah, that's the option of the customer. We have everything on this control panel of the machine. So if the customer doesn't want to have the extra one, he can control everything from the machine. But there are some customers, they want to have this additional because there's one person who does the setup, the other one is more for the machining process. So you have all the availabilities. And, and how many, many pallets have we got in this one? And what was, what was my option? It's that? a really modular system. That was the this really success of the PHL family. That's modular and also the PHL 500 is modular. The start was one rack was one module, then you can have a second one, you have three or four levels, so you can start with nine pallets and it goes up to 32 pallets. So we have the 400 times 400 pallets here and the 500 times 500 pallets. Now this is an amazing show and we're going to start walking this way yeah. to look at um, what is now uh, a pH cell that's actually feeding two machines. So there we're just feeding one and this, this to me is, this is the future, if, if you stand this side Andy. So, so now we've got, we've got a horizontal machining center, and then we've got a five axis there, and you've got a system in between the two that's able to feed both. Yes, so the customer, it was really a demand from the customer that they said, you have such a lovely automation, but I have two machines that I want to automate really compact close together. So we have a really close, uh, a small footprint of this automation solution. And as you see, we can have different machines. And is, it, is, it, is there a lot of intelligence involved between which machines being fed at which particular time? There must be the element of communication, which I assume is handled here, is it? We have here the Pallet Master, that's the automation solution. And in the Pallet Master, you define which machine will program it when you have different machines. When you have the same machines, then the part who is finished will come to the other, the part will come in the next machine who is finished. And I mean, these clearly look great, Andy, but have you got anything bigger? Yes, sure, let's go the other side. Okay, now this is much bigger, but there's an even bigger one coming in a minute. But Andy, what, what size, well, what can you accommodate on this uh, pallet system? Yeah, here we have the PHL 800, so from pallet size 400 to 630. So it's growing now the pallet size, also the weight, we have 800 kilogram, and the diameter of the, <laughs> of the workpiece is 800 and the height 800. So everything is 800, pretty easy to remember. For you guys at DMG Mori, where where does a, a pallet solution of this size fit? You know, what is a what is a typical manufacturer doing that needs something this big? So the, the starting with the 300 was the 65 size, 
but now we go up to here 85 the h motor block we can have this a bit perfect but also the dual block machines we have the the 80 dual block so the size is about the 80 85 machines that we have okay and if you need bigger we go over here i mean this is just awesome I mean, look at the huge. side, yeah. and, and, and also the, the, the part that you're showing here, I mean, what, what is that? What, what, are you, what is it? Yeah, we have here really two tons uh, for work piece. So it's a PHL 2000, two tons, work piece, as I said, and we have pallets up to uh, 1,200 uh, 1, times 1,200, uh, 1, yeah. Okay, and, and how many pallets would be in this? Again, have you got that option to... to to have you know to be modular yeah with the with the size uh, the customers don't need this many pallets we have 21 in total so this is really a, a lot of pallets the size uh and yeah here we are talking about mainly the dual block machines this phl 2000 is on a 100 uh, a 100 fps machine oh, yeah we have here also the the grinding integrated so that's a total so machining integrated turning grinding all automated yeah and if you want to you also can do gear cutting and, and automated the the, the the kind of mx machining transformation that the the open house is about what areas of what we've seen in the last few minutes are focused and targeted in though you know i mean you talk about sustainability and the eco economical automation is, is that a, a big focus on these particular solutions yes this is a really good example for machining integration because this machine has the process integration we have as i said the grinding the turning the milling we have technology cycles on this to help the the um, worker to produce the parts then we have the automation in addition and also we know working on on e pallet that's electronic device for clamping the parts, not only with hydraulic and robotic, out, uh, also with the electronics uh, that you have the electricity on the clamping device. So this is also an integration. And for sure, we work on on the green machine. We also have the green mode here with a lot of different solutions how you can reduce the energy.